Hello there and welcome to this video on why Mendeleev left gaps in the periodic table and what he did when there were gaps present. So you should already know by now that Mendeleev put all the elements into groups based on their properties. But sometimes this wasn't the case and if he had an element that didn't match with that group he would move it along one to the group where it did and he would leave gaps presuming that it was an undiscovered element. Now the fascinating thing is he could actually use the elements above and below to predict the properties of the undiscovered elements. So if we look at a couple of examples then, if we have a look at the atomic mass of lithium and potassium, which is 7 and 39, and he didn't know sodium, he'd go somewhere in the middle. So for example, 15. He had the same idea for density. So for example, lithium is 0.53 grams per centimeter cubed, and potassium is 0.89 grams per centimeter cubed. So we go in the middle, around 0.65. He'd do the same with the melting point, the boiling point, and the way it reacts. The fantastic thing is, when they actually found out the elements that he predicted, in most cases, the properties he predicted were right. They weren't spot on, but most of them were correct, with some exceptions. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So this one says, complete the table to predict the properties of the following elements in group zero. So you need to look at the melting points, boiling points, density, and the reactions above and below, and predict what the properties are. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see if you're right. Okay, let's see. Now, bear in mind, I'm going to give you the exact values here, but anything in between will do. So, if we're looking at neon, anything in between minus 248 and minus 157 will be acceptable. The exact one is minus 189. Same with the boiling point between 185 and 268. You're looking around 240, so it's minus 246. Density, we've got 0 0.900 and 3.749, so you're looking around 1.8. And it's 1.784. And if these three don't react, if it's in the same group, chances are the krypton is not going to react as well. So if you've got all four of those, bearing in mind it just needed to be between the two values, then you got yourself four marks. So what I'd like you to do in the review section then is use the table that we've just been using to explain why Mendel have left gaps and how he was able to predict the properties of unknown elements. And that ends this video.